In this video I'm going to be deep cleaning this polo using the help of some chemicals which have been sent to test out so I'll be giving you my honest thoughts on them as well. The very first thing that I did on this car was pre-wash the wheels with Green Star All Purpose Cleaner and I used about 150ml of product to 850ml of water in the IK sprayer. This removed some brake dust but a lot of it was particularly stubborn on these wheels. I then cleaned up the tyres using P&S Brake Buster. This is a really powerful cleaner and it actually cleans most tyres in a single hit. Although here I did just give it a second hit to make sure the foam was white as these tyres were quite dirty. I then went in with a 1 to 5 mixture of Brake Buster in the IK Foamer to contact clean the alloys. This provides a lot of lubrication in order to safely remove the remaining brake dust. However, it's not super powerful when the brake dust is particularly stubborn, even when used neat. So I did actually follow this up with a separate chemical. Once I'd rinsed down the wheel to see what I was dealing with, I went in with Infinity Wax Incinerate, which is the most powerful alkaline wheel cleaner that I've tried, and it works really well on those stubborn brake dust deposits. I find that it works best if you leave it to dwell for a couple of minutes before agitating it. So whilst I was waiting, I went and cleaned the wheel arches using the Easy Go brush and Green Star. Once I'd cleaned all the wheels, I then moved on to the door shuts, which were very grimy. I pre-soaked them using Green Star and then blasted that away with the pressure washer. Now I know a lot of people get quite nervous about using the pressure washer on the door shuts because they're worried about getting the interior wet. However, as long as I'm careful with the angle, I don't really find this to be a problem. I then used a collection of detailing brushes and a mitt topped up with some shampoo to thoroughly clean all the intricate areas and then I shut the doors and then ran water through all the panel gaps at low pressure as I find that this really easily flushes out all the remaining chemicals and dirt. I then moved back onto the exterior and started pre-washing this with Green Star again in the IK sprayer.
Once I'd allowed the pre-wash to dwell for a few minutes on its own, I then went in with GSF, which is a snow foam by the same brand, and I went with a roughly one to eight ratio of this product in the Pyramid Foam Cannon. When it came to the rinsing stage, I noticed that this combination of pre-wash chemicals did a really good job at shifting some quite stubborn grime on this car. However, there were a few areas where it did inevitably struggle, such as behind the reg plate, where that dirt was very, very stubborn. And I did actually have to put a decent amount of effort into removing it during the contact wash. For the contact wash I went with Squid Ink HD Pure Shampoo and I didn't actually measure this out here, I just gave it a little drizzle in the bucket but around 20ml of this product is about right for a 20 litre bucket. This is one of my favourite shampoos as it's really economical, feels nice and slick and the suds have a lot of stability in the bucket too. Now as you can see here the sun did start to come out and although it wasn't a particularly warm day it does start to present some problems. I find that during the pre-wash and contact washing stages that the sun isn't too much of a problem particularly when I'm working on a white vehicle and by continually spritzing the panel with water I don't have any trouble with the products drying out or the panels heating up. I did however get a gazebo out for the later stages when I was doing the chemical decon and the protection as I find it a lot harder to keep the panels cool during these stages and to give the products adequate time to dwell without drying out. Once I'd finished with the contact wash, I did quickly dry off the panels and then went in with Squid Ink Ferrous Extracts, which is an iron fallout remover. This reacted very quickly and every panel lit up with a considerable amount of iron fallout. I then dried off the lower sections and went in with this Gianna Gloss tar remover to tackle the tar spots which were primarily present behind the wheels. In order to remove any residue from the previous two stages, I gave the car a quick snow foam again with GSF, then rinsed all the panels down thoroughly and gave it a dry with the Rag Company gauntlet drying towel. I did notice a few marks on this car where it looked like something had been dragged across the panel, so I did actually go in with the Stiana Gloss hand polish just to tidy that up, and that did a really great job at removing those marks. I also used that same product on the chrome trim to brighten that up too. In order to prepare the panels for the subsequent protection, I went in with the Zirconite panel wipe. This is a step that's well worth doing before applying any long-term protection, as not only does it make that protection more likely to bond to the paintwork, it also makes it less likely for it to streak during the application process, as there's no residue causing interference.
protection that I went for today on both the paintwork and the wheels was Zirconite ZG365, which is sent by a new distributor of the brand called Foxtail Detail. The application of this product is faultless. You simply wipe it on with one microfiber towel and buff it off with the next immediately, and it instantly leaves a nice level of slickness. And the product offers some really good water behavior and really nice beading as well. This protection is designed to last for 12 months and I'm actually monitoring the performance on a car that I see more regularly. Based on my results so far, I think with this level of prep, 12 months is unlikely to be achieved. And having had it on the car for a couple of months, I have noticed some decline in the performance. However, it is a high mileage vehicle and considering how dirty it's been getting, I do think it's performing better than most sealants that I've tried. So I am looking forward to monitoring it further and trying it on some other vehicles as well. On the tyres I went for Stjana Gloss Gummy, which has a really nice consistency making it very easy to apply, even on these tyres where the sidewall wasn't in amazing condition. 